Hello friends, welcome to Java Swimming Tutorial. Now you are watching the last part of the Jacob Baba site and the similar video. So in this part the, we are going to uh, look at the pitch demo and we will create this uh, example, whatever you are seeing here in the left side. Now it's a demo time, we will go to the office. Perfect. Now let's launch a Eclipse Accident. Alright, here is where we want to create our uh, controls. So, first we create our uh, jcombo box. After creating the jcombo box, we will add uh, 5 items to it using uh, uh, the add item method. So the J combo box is from Java X dot swing package. Our example requires uh, five components, two text box to denote uh, selected and deselected combo box item, and a corresponding label. So totally four, and a J combo box item. So all together comes a five. Now we will J combo box we already created here. Now we will create uh, other two four components. Then we will add it to the control host. So first we create a two text field. So this we will uh, declare at class level letter then we need two label and then we are adding these controls to our uh, control host so we are adding these text fields at class level because we need these text fields uh, in the um, event handler for the combo box so now all the error is gone now we can run once and see how our UI looks so we can see two text boxes are added I mean the J text field then there are two labels and this is the combo box so now this combo box is uh, by default falls under a normal combo box if you see i cannot edit this item so when i click here it just opens the uh, drop down uh, list so from here i can select uh, any one of the displayed item here i cannot type anything manual all right now we will go ahead and handle this uh, click event so for example now two is selected so it will say selected item as two if I select 4, so the previously selected item is 2, right? Now if I select 4, 2 is deselected and 4 is selected. So you will see 4 here and 2 here. So that's what we want to do in the handler. Now we will handle the event. So the listener is uh, item listener. So we have to make a call to add item listener.
then as usual type the new keyword and display press control space then choose anonymous inner type this will provide the handler for us inside the handler we can place the uh, code to explore the selected item and unselected item so you can see add item listener and we are creating a item listener on the fly here this is a add item listener expects a item listener so we are creating the anonymous inner class new item listener and uh, we are implementing item state changed and we will make use of this item event okay now if you see we are making use of this item event item event dot selected so this will uh, tell us whether a particular item is selected or not so this is the constant selected then we are making call to e dot get state change so get state change if you see it returns an integer and we can compare this with the selected and deselected constant so here i am using item event dot selected so if that is the case we are populating the selected text box so there are two text box right one is to tell which uh, combo box item is selected and another one is to tell which combo box item is unselected so we make use of our j combo box instance and we make a call to get selected item so this will give the object and we are type casting it to string why because here we are adding the string as the object to the jcombo box so we are type casting it to string then we are uh, uh, setting the text the e dot get item will give us the unselected item so we are taking that and populating it with the txt unselected so selected item is given by get selected item and unselected item is given by the item event so the item event says uh, when you make a call to get item it says uh, which item was previously selected and the currently selected item that we are getting it from the jcombo box dot uh, get selected item all right now we will run this once and you can see the event handler working now so the when i opened the present item is one now i am making it as three and you can see the selected item is three and deselected item is one so deselected item is coming through this uh, item event now we will once again change it to some other item uh, the currently selected is three now i am selecting five and you can see the currently selected item is five and deselected one is three now we will make this as a editable combo box in the slide we saw that set editable item is the function that we will make on the combo box uh, itself and when we set it to true it will change the default normal combo box to editable combo box we will do that now we already implemented the event handler now it is just checking the appearance and if you see this time this becomes editable i mean the editable portion of the combo box becomes editable first let us select three so it says the selected item is three and the selected item is one so now when i change it to something say okay let me do that once again four from here i will change it to two now we will make it as a 10 the moment i hit enter or uh, the moment i hit enter the selected item becomes uh, 10 and deselected items become 2 well, because 2 is the currently selected item that will go as a deselected item 
so now i'm going to hit enter so this is how user can select their own string if it is not falling in this category so we can simply make this combo box as editable by setting the set editable flag to true that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye